Last week it was announced that Peloton is adding a $95 activation fee if you purchase your bike on the secondary market, i.e. not from them. Yes. And so uh, collectively the internet uh, lost their shit. Yes, they did. Lifehacker has chimed in. Yeah. And I will have to say it's so refreshing to see an article about something like this that isn't just gloom and doom. They're defending the $95 activation fee. So so I will let you take it from here. What did Lifehacker have to say about the $95 activation fee? That's secret code for me saying I didn't read it. Right. And here's here's the, the basic gist. Mm-hmm. We don't know everything that this $95 fee is going to get you because Peloton hasn't spelled that out right, right. exactly. Um, but what we do know is it's a one-time fee mm-hmm. uh, that if you let your subscription lapse and then reactivate it, it doesn't seem to be any indication that it's going to trigger it happening again, okay. for example. Yeah. Um, you you pay it, and then you're on the same footing as any other customer. So uh, it only applies to those sales, and, and it does not appear to apply to any refurbished bikes if you buy those through Peloton. Right. Because that's not the secondary market. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Now, you also get an onboarding experience. So you get a virtual custom fitting, which other services pay or charge $125 and up for. Okay. I think that's important to note. Yeah. Um, and uh, there are also there are also going to be discounts on accessories, including shoes and spare parts. So I think that, that there is a lot that you're getting out of it. I understand that some people feel that this dilutes what they're getting out of their bike. But guess what? They didn't give you that bike or sell you that bike so that you could resell it and make money off of it. That wasn't what they were trying to do. I think there's a lot of people that kind of just look at it like everything should be about them all the time. And and, But yet, they will simultaneously tell you that Peloton needs to make more money and be more careful with their money. And this is a way to do that because they they are giving you these services, but now they are charging you uh, so they're covering the overhead by somebody spending that time on the phone with you. And I don't think that's a crazy thing. So here's my question. Bring it. You get a virtual fitting mm-hmm. if you buy a refurbished bike and pay the activation fee. Not a refurbished. If you buy a secondary market bike and pay the activation fee. But if you buy a new bike, why don't they give you a fitting for that? So I don't have an answer to that. I think ultimately, like, I get it. I think ultimately this is designed to encourage people to buy a refurbished bike instead of buying something on the secondary. I think this also does protect the consumer as well in terms of, you know, we've seen the horror stories of people who have bought bikes that were technically rental bikes. Yeah. So Yeah. And this also cuts that out. Not to mention if you do buy a bike and and supposedly later on it's going to be for things like the tread. If you, you if you buy a used one, you can also get that report that shows you what you got with your bike. And yeah. you're going to be getting that with the $95 fee uh as far as I'm that's the way I'm reading it, the first initial thing that was in their press release. But um but I also think that even if you're buying it from somebody and I don't know, you'd never even heard about this activation fee, you can still get that report. And eventually that will be also added on to the tread and hopefully the tread plus. But I think that is a valuable piece of information because there are people that do things to their bikes. There are people that, yeah. that, that, change out things swap out pedals swap out all kinds of stuff they add third party junk to their stuff some of it's great third party stuff yeah, but some of it's junk yeah. and uh and so there's a lot of things jack the bikes so and the metrics are really high yeah yeah and so some of that you're going to have covered in that report and some of it you're not but if it's been turned in on customer service a lot you're going to have that information that's good to know 